Can I say something? Okay, so guys, this is what it is. You're either a wife, you're either a wife, you're either a wife, an ex-wife, a widow, or baby mom. Listen, if you want to, no, listen, if you, okay. Okay, listen, so let me break it down to you, right? Let me break it down to you. I'm going to do it to everybody, right? So, if you want, there's a difference between a baby mom and a marriage, and let me tell you how us men see things slightly different. So, when you're married, right? Somebody bought a ring for you, right? So there was some thought process bought to it. Most times when you buy a ring, you spend a lot of money on the ring. Let's say someone spends three grand, five grand. So he's thought about that, right? There's a lot of thought process. So then you make a public declaration. You go to Paris, you go to wherever. I get on one knee. Everybody sees this, right? So then you get you you. So then you have a, a, a wedding. Everyone comes and watches the wedding. This is a big thing. You thought about it. it's a lot of process, right? Cool. You get married. Then you get divorced. Unfortunately, sometimes things can happen, people get divorced, right? When you come outside here, and then you meet me or meet any other man, they're gonna realize that a man bought a ring, a man put on a wedding, a man made a public declaration. There's a lot of value in you as a woman, right? Okay, wait, hold on a second. Then there's another person who just, from a situation, from a boyfriend, had the baby, right? And then she comes outside, and then she says, oh, I'm a single mother. Do you think the woman that got married considered her to be the same as the person that just got knocked up? I promise you, she does. People that are married are not gonna consider themselves to be people that are big moms and there's nothing wrong with it but the problem is there's 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 terminology and things in society we want to change things to fit our narrative if you don't want to get married that is perfectly fine but you don't get to go and tell someone else that a marriage is just a piece of paper you don't get to go and tell someone you know what actually no i'm a single mom because if you wanted to be a single mother you should have got married got divorced and got single mother you are a baby mom in actual fact what do we call someone that has a baby out of wedlock what do we call that woman and call that child wow. you don't want me to say that so take baby mama take baby outside of the marriage etc and the wife would stay with them so i think there is a point to that times have changed so people are more accepting and of certain things or people women are less accepting of certain things so when previously maybe it could be our grandparents generation or whatever the husband may cheat have an affair etc the wife would stay and they would work it out whereas now people don't stay together when they go through hardship or whatever that's where the account that's what point i was getting to where the accountability comes into play so accountability has their, therefore has consequences on the back of it so whatever you do has a consequence when you're accountable for what you do you're accepting that there will be a consequence if you've done something negative but i think as times of as generations have changed people don't stick things out in relationships or marriages or etc they they do the fight or flight and they're like oh no i'm not dealing with that and they leave i'm not saying anyone should deal with cheating or whatever it's your personal choice if you decide to stay in that relationship but i think that's where the question of accountability and times have changed in terms of what women and, and what men are, are willing to accept because even if you look in today's society if you look at the amount of men that will not stay with their missus if they cheated or or etc but females will stay that shows you there is obviously a true difference with how men and women's minds think and what they yeah but men and women are different though of course, of course. they are i fully yeah. accept that Please, guys don't listen to what i'm telling you in 2023 or not the same men and women are not the same no, but China. Yeah, but I want to know for what are you trying to say that a woman's value is in whether or not she is married, or gets married, or has been married and divorced? Is is her value within that? Because what do you do with people that have been in relationships for 10, 15 years and haven't gotten married, but yet? I can't lie. 
I would never allow my sister to be with a relationship for a man for 10 to 15 years and not marry her. What do you think this is? You read it? What do you think? And this is a thing. But not every man has good credit, you know. I ain't marrying somebody. No, I'm not being funny. When we get married, you're going to be So you won't, so you won't get married to man. Yeah. Hey, what? Uh, what? Hey, what? Hey, Question. Wait, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You're talking about being with a man for 10, 15 years and not marrying him because he's not in debt. So you, so you basically let a man have access to your body for 10, 15 years, and then after that you said that I'm not going to marry you because you have bad credit. How you allowed bad credit to be able to afford the marriage. Yeah. How is he gonna afford the rent? Can I just say something to you? And this is the thing that I think is crazy. I think it's crazy for you to allow. Basically, you're calling this man broke. How could he afford the ring but he could afford to be inside of you for 10, 15 years? That's wild to me. And you allowed it, right? So here's the thing. You cannot come up trying to tell me that your man is broke and a waste man and you spent 10, 15 years with him. No accountability. No accountability. No accountability. This is an example. She spent 10, 15 years with this man. No ring. No ring. Now she want to blame the man. No accountability. It's crazy. Everyone wants to one up each other. Everyone wants to be better. Everyone wants to be bad. 
Look at you women. This is what I want to pick for. Look at you women. 